Hello everyone. So a little more on boundary conditions. What are the ways that the temperature, the heat energy can exchange at the different ends? We covered one in our example problem so far. Temperature at x equals zero equals T zero. Temperature at x equals L is equal to some T B or T one or T two. There's other types of things. You can have no flow or no flux of of heat. What does this mean? Well, if you remember the from Fourier's law for heat transfer, we have minus del T D temperature dx at a position is equal to something, but if we set it equal to zero, that means there is no heat flow. This could be, for instance, in a well insulated um, uh, region or, or vessel. And so at the right hand side it looks like this. Um, an alternative is to have a specified uh, energy transfer. Um, and this is similar to the no heat flow, but instead of it equaling zero, um, it equals some value Q uh, for some heat generated. Maybe it's an electrical source. Um, and it's, a, it's a unique thing that on the left-hand side we have to include the minus sign, and on the right-hand side because of the... It comes down to basically the, the, the boundary conditions have to do with the normal direction of the surface. Um, so this is a left-facing surface, and on the right-hand side it's a right-facing surface. So this derivative um, is no longer have the negative in front of it. So this would be at position L, and you can specify some Q at the other end as well. These are pretty common. Um, another uh, common uh, boundary condition that you'll encounter for these types of problems has to do with uh, what's called Newton's Law of Cooling, where you're going to have minus k dt dx at a position is equal to some um, heat uh, transfer that depends on the value of the temperature um, at, at that position. Um, so if you can imagine uh, minus some thermal reservoir temperature, um, this could be at the left hand side and if you have really high temperature there this overall term of transfer would be very large but if it's a very low temperature or if the temperature here is actually equal to temperature B then it would go to zero. Um, and the right-hand side, uh, similarly, um, uh, looks like this. Okay, uh, temperature x equals L minus some other temperature on that boundary. So these are, uh, these are the four most common types of boundary conditions. Specify the, specify the condition, specify that it's insulated, specify... Um, a heat transfer, energy transfer at that position, or specify a special heat or energy transfer that has to do with a difference in temperature between the material on the rod and your thermal reservoir.